Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra, exclusively on SNY.TV. Sunday afternoon, the Mets took the rubber game of their series with Arizona 3-1. to R.A. Dickey, the big story, he carried a shutout into the ninth inning. Well, the thing that's great about Terry, and our relationship in particular, is that he's, he's great at communicating. And he asks me what I think, and I tell him what I think. He knows he can trust me. And in that particular case, I felt good. Um, and so I told him I felt good, uh, like give me a shot at it, and he gave me a shot. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to slam the door, but we got out of it and got a win. You know, the first four or five innings, it was just, it was moving all over the place. And, uh, you know, it, it was hard to catch, hard for those guys to hit. And, uh, you know, and then towards the end, he just battled. I'm very pleased. Um, I'm, I'm encouraged. Uh, it wasn't until May 19th or May 18th, right in there last year, where I felt really good with it. I'd been close, but just hadn't been quite there. Um, I felt pretty good with it from the from the get-go here, so hopefully just keep that momentum. Well, A-plus fantastic innings for R.A. Dickey today. Really had great control of that knuckler till the very end uh, when he struggled with his control. Trevor C Cahill was outstanding for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Two hours and 16 minutes in this game today with his fine pitching, and there wasn't a lot of offense for the Mets, but just enough to squeak by a 3-1 win. Daniel Murphy, who had four hits on Saturday, had a hit his first time up today. That played at two runs, which was all the Mets would need. He's such a good hitter, and I, you know, he's going to hit his 12 or 12 to 15 homers. We know that, but what he does, he puts the bat on the ball, and he's got a chance to drive runs in. And big first inning, the first good first. I mean, the first inning, you know, made great pitches on Lucas, and you know, Murph got up and fought one off and got his two. So. Well, I've had RBI opportunities in two spot. I left a small village on the base pass in uh, in Colorado one game. So it's not the opportunity. I don't think it's nice to get it there because David's swinging the bat so well. Andres is getting on base, um, you know, and so it's nice to get the opportunities. Um, I just think I'm a little bit better spot to play right now to maybe come through and execute a little bit better. But, uh, you know, the opportunities have been there. I haven't executed the way I've wanted to uh, so far this season. The downside for the Mets in this game, Ruben Tejada, who was two for two on the second, hit a bunt single, strained his quad running to first base, hit the ground hard, and don't know how long he'll be out. Probably just a, you think a strain, a quad strain right now. I'm more concerned about his eye. He took a he went face down. He's got. A, I mean, I, I, told, I told Ray. I thought, you know, in two innings, his eyes gonna swell shut. So I was, I'm as concerned about that as I am the quad. But Ruben said he didn't think it was as bad as the groin strain he had in spring training. So we we'll just wait till he gets back. Well, you hope he's not out because he's been playing so well, not only offensively but defensively for this ball club. And the only other person you have who can play short uh, played short today, Justin Turner. So let's hope that it's just a mild uh, problem for Tejada. Tim Burdak and Frank Francisco both survived long fly balls to finish it off behind Dickey in the ninth, and the Mets win it 3-1. to one. Now they move to Philadelphia to start a six-game road trip. John Neese against Roy Halladay on Monday night at Citizens Bank Park. 6.30 the coverage for Pepsi Max pregame live on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.